Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And uh, this video is about vegetable juicing versus ketosis. And uh, I'm gonna talk about culture, but you know, anybody can do this. This isn't for a disease. And when you do nutritional therapy for a disease, technically or legally, that's not legal. So this is, true. This is good for anybody, no matter what health state you have. So I just, that's a little disclaimer right there. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this book. It's called The Culture Therapy. Results of 50 Cases by Max Gerson, MD. And um, this diet here was developed by him in the 1930s because he had uh, horrible migraines in medical school. And then it was discovered later, this is really good for tuberculosis. And then it was discovered, it was really good for So <clears throat> now I acquired this book uh, in the mid 90s and the original printing was 1958. And so I've had this for over 20 years. And I never really, I tried to read through it a while ago, but I didn't understand words in here. Like for example, lactic acidosis. It's in this book. And now that I understand this, I could read through this really quickly and, and get an uh, idea like what Max was up to. And he was fixing lactic acidosis. So um, what I'm gonna do is show you what lactic acidosis is quickly. I'll tell you what I've been doing for it. And then I'll tell you what Max did for it. And then we can combine the two for even faster results. So here's what it is very quickly. We have sugar being used as the fuel for the body in excess and for too long. You get a buildup of these waste products in the, in the body, in the blood. And then a result of using sugar as a fuel releases um, uh, acid. Okay, so this is lactate. That's the first uh, waste product. And back in the 1920s and 30s, they called this lactic acidosis because of lactate. Uh, and then we have this acid aspect right here. Okay, now lactate gets converted by the liver back into sugar. The other three, three waste products have to be cleaned up by the liver also. Okay, so what I've been doing is giving people supplements. Um, originally from 1934, back when all the doctors knew that lactic acidosis was the mechanism of chronic disease. Um, there was one guy in particular who made a fantastic product for it and my a video I did on it is called King of All Supplements. So I supply liver and then you want to eat liver. I supply liver in a pill form. Okay, then I get people into ketosis, that's the fat burning mode. So we're eliminating sugar as a fuel and we're using fat instead. So and ketosis has enormous benefits and you can just Google that and you'll find fantastic information and the research is replete or filled up with great information of what ketosis does. Okay, so when you fix the liver and you get into ketosis, this goes away on its own. If you just did ketosis only, you can still have a bad liver and you can still have these problems right here. So I've been doing this and this, and this goes away. This is what Dr. Gerson did. He had um, vegetable juicing, and you can still go to his clinic in Mexico right now. But they'll, and they'll give you one glass of vegetable juice basically every hour throughout the day. And that cleans this up, it cleans the blood. Very simply put, with all those thousands of nutrients, it cleans the blood. Then they do which is a way to clean the liver, and they have you consume liver. Now in 1958, when this was originally published, um, the liver was raw, unprocessed, never fro frozen, never cooked liver chopped up into little teeny tiny bits in a glass and you drink it. So you're drinking three glasses of liver per day in the original Gerson therapy. So he's addressing this and he's addressing this with the vegetable juice. Now the vegetable juice is all sugar. So ketosis never happened. And I've been wrestling this for a while. In my mind, I've been wrestling with this for a while. As a matter of fact, I just called the Gerson therapy center in Sedona and I asked him, do your patients get into ketosis? And they said, no, no, they don't. So I was like, well, how does this work? How does this fit together with what we know about ketosis? And I figured out, you know, by reading through this book and putting my thoughts together. And now it makes sense. Now I have a patient from last year. She had lung cancer that metastasized to her brain. She had it for two and a half years. And when she started seeing me, um, we addressed um, all three aspects. And what she did was she ate her food in a short window of time from 2 p.m. I gotta lift this up. Okay, from 2 p.m. 
until 6 p.m. So for four hours during the day, she had the vegetable juice, and she had meat, and she had um, fats, and of course, uh, salt. Okay, now the Gerson diet, there's no salt, there's no meat, there's no fats, there's no avocados, there's no oils. It's just vegetable juice and, and liver. Okay, but you can still eat really healthy, you know, and a wide variety of foods when you combine all of these together. So from two to four, she's eating healthy food plus vegetable juice. And then for 20 hours for the rest of the day from 6 p.m. until 2 p.m., she's fasting. She had no food and that's when she got into ketosis. Okay, so for 20 hours a day, no food. So ketosis for her here to fix this, the juicing to fix this, and then I had her on the best supplements for liver here. And then three months, it only took three months, her kidneys were totally gone, verified at University of Michigan Neurological Oncology with their MRIs. And even the arteries that were newly created by the body to feed the kidneys were gone. Now, <clears throat> Gerson says it takes six months to 18 months to fix up um, a poor you know, health condition by doing his therapy. Okay, and, and we did it in three because we included ketosis. So um, this is kind of revolutionary for me. Um, I don't know if any, anybody else has put these thoughts together, like how can the Gerson Clinic have a 50 to 75% success rate with cancer? I don't know what their success rate is, but I've heard different sources, sources say different percentages. How can they have such a good percent success and nobody goes into ketosis? I mean, we know ketones are toxic to ketone cells, even in the presence of glucose, but the Gerson therapy is not ketotic by any means. So how is it? Well, they clean the blood and they fix your liver up. But when you go into ketosis and you do all three, it just makes everything so much better and easier and the recovery is so much faster. So um, this is quite a large breakthrough for me. And uh, I did have a patient last year do this. She got the results I just told you about. And even then I didn't fully understand like how it exactly did this work. But now we know. So I hope this helps you. And I've been having a great time trying to figure this out. And uh, I'm going to move on to the next thing to figure out.